Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, my beautiful Leo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Leo, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, uh, Leo, as well. I would like to ask if you enjoyed this tarot reading or if you just enjoy my vibe. Oh my gosh, Leo. <coughs> uh, um... I feel like it's like I'm committing a crime anytime I cough now. Even though I'm just recording, so I still feel like I'm committing a crime. Y'all, anyone else feel that way? Uh, anyways, uh, Leo, uh, if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Leo. And I always am super appreciative of that when you guys take the extra step to support my tar tarot reading channel in that way, Leo. And then finally, before we get into this weekly reading for you, Leo, when it comes to my weekly readings, they're just to give a th perspective, uh, food for thought or a perspective for you to consider, Leo. Never making a choice in your life because put it in perspective, Leo. Just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. Um, and so now, all that being said, Leo, let's just get into your weekly reading, starting with your objective card. And your objective card is actually your card, darling. <laughs> Not even planned at all. Um, is the strength card, the Leo card. Come on now, Leo. This is your week. I'll probably even put that as the title. It's like, this is your week, Leo. Um, so with the strength card coming in as your objective card, what does the objective card even mean? Uh, to me, it means is the energy that you're going to be in throughout this week, throughout just the everyday occurrences of your life, through existing of this week. Um, this is the energy that you're going to be exuding. So what does the strength card represent other than it being your card, Leo? Uh, the strength card, I like to say, is like the shadow work card, honestly, uh, Leo. So this is this week of where it is. You're definitely going to be building some character. I'm going to say, especially looking at your other cards right now, um, you're definitely going to be building some character. Um, there are definitely going to have some moments in during your week where it's really going to challenge you. I feel like you're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, situations this week, Leo, where you're going to be put to the challenge of being like, how is Leo going to react in this situation? How is Leo going to handle this situation? This situation is Leo going to continue how they always have, or are they going to challenge themselves and do something differently, right? Just random things I'm thinking about. But uh, let's pull some clarifiers for this. What deck do we want to even use though, Leo? You know, I'm feeling like y'all need like a little bit of a bougie, some bougie cards, right? This is one of my newest decks. I feel like these cards are just, the artwork is gorgeous on it, but they just look expensive, don't they? And plus they match my outfit. Are we taking all, no, we're not taking all these. We're taking one more. Okay. So the clarifiers we have coming in for your strength card, your card, Leo. Uh, let me get these clarifiers set up properly. All right, so we have the Dawn of Swords coming in for you, right? We have the Emperor card coming in, Three of Rings, as well as the Fool card. Very, I didn't use this deck at all for um, Aries reading, Leo, but this is very similar in a different way um, to Leo or to Aries reading. So it's interesting, Leo. I don't know if a lot of you guys have Aries in your chart that are watching this week, or if you were work uh, in relation to an Aries or someone that has a lot of Aries in their chart, um, because in their reading, uh, Leo, I'll make it quick because I know this is for you, Leo. But basically, they're getting closure in a situation with somebody that they were close to which really allowed them to have some type of collaborative energy to start creating again and they had the full card and the three of rings as well paired together with um a death card and just like communication dawn of swords yeah so let's get into this what it means for you so this week we talk about the character building their character development you being challenged leo and so i feel like we start out this journey this explanation with the dawn of swords this is the card of reflection i'm pretty sure this is the page of swords in this deck um it might be either the page of swords or it might be the ace of swords. no this is the page of swords no 
Page of Swords. This is the Page of Swords. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know my own deck, apparently. It's my newest one. Give me, uh, give me some leeway, uh, Leo. Yeah, this is Page of Swords. Regardless, the card itself, it says Reflection. So this definitely does seem to be like you're getting closure in some type of situation, Leo, or a sense of, or something happening this week that you're just getting a better sense of direction on, why, on where it is that you need to go next, right? I do feel like you're being this week you're being really you're getting a sense of direction on where your life is going or where you want to, your life to go and how to get to that point right that's kind of fitting as to how i would see how this would be your week as well as because like you know for a lot of people leo they don't have the sense of direction right as you do um this emperor card is really for my leos that are feeling lost this is definitely a good week to find like be open this week right i know the strength card is gonna and i say it's like character development essentially it's a fancy way or a fluffy way of me saying that you're gonna be probably dealing just with some uh, stressors right um but uh leo i get this sense that these stressors are somehow just going to be somehow connected to giving you some sense of clarity or a sense of direction on where you like where it is or what it is that you need to do next or that you want to do next, not need to do. I want to emphasize that. Um, with this Emperor card, it is like that energy of being proactive. It's that energy of just, you know, the card says wisdom and passion, which is a very powerful, com powerful uh, combination, Leo, to have, right? You're not only following in your passion, but either there's intelligence put behind it, there's thought put behind it as well, Leo. So really interesting. And then following up with that is uh, the Fool and the Three of Rings, which I feel like these two cards kind of go hand in hand or kind of just go together, Leo. Because in this pairing with the Fool, the Fool is the archetype of someone that listens to, I always say is like the card that listens to their intuition or listens to their passions and the fool only looks like a fool to the people who don't understand uh, passion or they only look like the fool to the outside world because they don't know or they're not hearing and seeing what the fool sees right the fool actually is very is very logical and very precise and there's steps in their direction um, they're very self-aware and three of rings is letting me you know of some type of collaborative action so you get not only this sense of um challenge this week leo um but it's seemingly through some type of yeah i just get this sense of where it's just like some type of through the events happening in your life this week you're just going to get a better sense of what to do next it's going to be one of those things of being like huh okay you're going to know where it is you stand with people where it is you're where you're at in certain situations it's going to be a very humbling week but a very good week because you're going to be getting what a lot of people always are craving or really actively trying to seek is like their life purpose right you're and especially with all those uh, powerful major arcana with it being your card the strength card leo as well as that um fool card as well uh you're definitely finding your purpose you're definitely going to be shown where it is your next step should be uh and just it's all based off of passion it's not even off of i mean logic there as well right leo because we have the emperor there and so the emperor doesn't uh mess around in that sense the emperor doesn't make mistakes um so it, i don't know it's just a very powerful energy where it's just like you're not only being smart in like the decisions that you're making and reliable but it also just like is in the direction of your passion so it's just actually like i don't know it's very interesting how that is it's very good energy though so i got over oh, almost had these cards just slip out into my lap at leo <laughs> Um, we get into that now. Let's now get into your spread of this week, Leo. So we have your past energy. This is the energy that you're probably currently working through or coming out of. Uh, we have coming in for you the judgment card. Now the judgment card comes in as this, I always see this as like the card of action in some sort of way. So some type of action being taken, Leo. Is this action on your side or some action being happening towards you? We will see. But is action something that kind of, a uh, took a lot of took a lot of strength i was saying saying it without even intention trying to have it be associated with your um objective card um took a lot of strength to do right but this judgment card is kind of one of those uh 
making the judgment call on something when you're not sure about it. <coughs> My gosh, Leo. I am so sorry. I don't even feel sick, I promise you, Leo. I'm like defending myself, trying to say I'm like giving y'all germs. <laughs> I'm really not sick, I don't know what's going on. So uh, the clarifiers that we have coming on, going on for your judgment card, Leo. We have the moon card, moon card coming in for you, Leo. We have the two of cups coming in. The eight of swords, yeah, the eight of swords. And then we have the three of pentacles following you. So yeah, uh, three of pentacles followed Aries as well. So it's just interesting. I definitely, it would be very interesting to hear about uh, what, like if there's like someone with heavy Aries in their chart, uh, Leo, that you're dealing with. It's just very interesting how this is just playing out. I have like a cat here. I'm a train wreck for y'all's reading, Leo. <laughs> so let's get into this reading for you now. What does this even mean for your judgment card? But then this action being taken, and I say it's kind of like that risky, I kind of keep on hearing like risky, like it feels risky. And with these clarifiers, it makes sense as to why I'm hearing like the riskiness of it. So let's break this down. Um, two of Cups, this is letting you know of a situation where it's you and some other energy. You and a, another situation. Leo. So this is definitely like part or partially the challenges you probably have just been consistent. I know you actually have been thinking back in your past readings, Leo. You've been consistently dealing with challenges on like, like just your perspective and like how you think about things, how you feel about things. I feel like I've been consistently being challenged and the situation is no different, right? Two of Cups. Um, maybe this could just be the representation, just like everything very personal to you right now, close to you right now. Um, seems to be dealing with something, right? It, does, it seems like there's no stone being left unturned in your life that has been um, stressing you out. With this moon card, judgment, I just, it's interesting. This is what I was talking about, where it's just like, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, Leo, made like a risky decision or a risky chance on something. Or you want to take a risk on something with this Eight of Swords as well, with this Moon card. Because the Moon card is just like the unknown, right? So the unknown with the Eight of Swords, it's kind of like a situation where it's just like, I don't know if you didn't know, um, it's with this Three of Pentacles here. I feel like there's a little bit, chunk of the story that's missing here. And I feel like maybe even you yourself could be like going right now, you'll be like, yeah, you're right. That's how I feel. You feel out of the blue. Uh, king of pentacles so you it's almost like a situation of where it's just like stability associated with what though in this situation the death card okay so it's almost just like a situation that you weren't sure if you needed to wash your hands clean of it or not that's what was going on here i don't know if you did or not right i mean some of you probably i mean this is a general reading right for thousands of people so it could be obviously it could be either way but it does seem to be this sense of where it's like you didn't know where you stood in the situation leo perhaps and so um yeah everything just felt rocky you didn't know if something was going to be permanent in your life or not with this person or this job or this thing whatever this thing is you didn't know if it was going to be permanent or not um that's where it was just like so you felt trapped in it. it's just like okay um, so it's interesting that we have this sense. Actions being taken, though. Judgment card. So, um, hmm. I wonder what happens from this action, though. Is this action being, like, huh. Because I'm just, like, thinking about this. I'm looking at your next card, because then we're dealing with your present card, which is the Five of Wands, Leo. So then... This is where, like, because the Five of Wands is that conflict card. <laughs> and it is, again, Aries had that same card as well, where I was just, because I even told Aries, I was like, oh, there's like a road bump. One more road bump uh, going on. So it's just so interesting how this is so correlated. And I'm not even using, like, the same exact, like, the decks that I used for Aries. Leo, and each, between each reading, I shuffle these cards, like, 50 times. Like, not an exaggeration. So it's like... It's interesting just to see how these cards are coming out and how the storylines are just like similar. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm being like a therapist for like a husband and wife and I didn't know I was being a therapist for both a husband and a wife, but I'm like solving like they're, they're complaining about the same issues. Um, so let's get some clarification now for 
this uh, Five of Wands. Actually, I was shuffling this other deck, the gold deck again, but I feel like we're gonna use this deck now. This Five of Wands is conflict. What's going on here, my beautiful Leo? This is your current energy that you're dealing with. No. Mm. Take those two. Let's see. I think I want one or two more cards. I kind of get a sneaking suspicion, like two more cards is gonna are going to pop out. Did two pop out? Yeah, two popped out. <laughs> All right. So let's look at these clarifiers for your five of wands. Now, Leo, give me a moment. So while I straighten, oh wow, while I, wow, while I straighten this up, wow, wow, Leo. Uh, so <laughs> your clarifiers for your five of wands is the ace of pentacles. Y'all understand a moment. The ace of wands, the ace of cups, <laughs> the, Leo, the Leo card, the strength card. The only card that you're missing is the ace of swords in this. <laughs> it's crazy how you have three aces together and then you top it off with your card again, the strength card. So this is really going back to uh, your objective card. So definitely talking like through this conflict that's happening this week, this seems to be the right in the right direction. So if you're dealing with one more road bump, Leo, um, it's seemingly intended, right? Especially normally as a tarot reader, right? You look at certain signs for readings until like, you know, you'll get certain hints and things. So for example, I mean, for I maybe mean, it's different for everybody, obviously, perhaps, but for me personally, if I see like a lot of swords cards in certain uh, tarot decks, uh, Leo, I can usually like assume like, okay, this person is probably feeling a little bit depressed, darling. Um, signs like that. And so for something like this, when you see a bunch of aces, usually it's like two aces is kind of like an affirmation, like, okay, like do this girl. Um, so when you have three aces, this is definitely like confirming to me, uh, Leo, that yeah, with this strength card, I feel like there's just one more roadblock that you have to be dealing with. Um, but it's intended. So don't take this as like a wrong sign sort of thing. When you have the, like this type of energy is very powerful. You're really living in like on your life's purpose path. Um, and it's going to make even more sense in a moment here, Leo, when I show you your future card, because it's just, it's just interesting, Leo, how your reading is, because it's not necessarily like a flashy reading. Granted, I don't ever do really flashy readings, right? Where it's just like grandiose, just like, oh, this is like going to be whatever, whatever, right? And that's just not me. But it's like... This is a very powerful reading, but it's all under very, like, very subtle actions, very subtle events, I feel. I don't feel like there's nothing really, um, flashy necessarily, I don't think. It just is like, uh, I don't know, it's interesting, Leo. Yeah, Queen of Wands coming out, paired with the Page of Wands. <coughs> yeah, Leo. Um, definitely you guys are in in your correct path. So let's get into your future card now. We have the chariot card here. Now, Leo, so this is the card. This is, again, Aries had this card as well. Um, I keep bringing up Aries, but it's just so funny how both your readings just correlate to like conflict with the person, like one more thing. It's just very similar and just different cards. It's just interesting. Um, chariot card though. This is a card that comes forward whenever you're on your right path. Um, so let's look at this. You know, I kind of want to see, and plus with those three aces that came in, this is such a powerful, I, I hope you guys, Leo, just, just appreciate just how powerful having those three aces together, man, with that strength. The ace of cups is the opening of your heart. Ace of wands is that passion. Ace of pentacles is like that cornucopia, that reward, um, just like that abundance, overall abundance. Like it's just overall, just like a lot of good happening for you. Uh, Leo and the clarifiers that we have coming in for your chariot card is the temperance card. Tell me you have a cat without telling me you have a cat. You always have cat hair. My cat's shutting from the winter time, darling. So it's just like extra cat hair everywhere. <laughs> temperance card coming in. The two of swords. 
and the King of Pentacles coming in. So you get that stability. You weren't sure about this stability beforehand, but there's judgment. So that's why you're taking action. Some type of action is being taken place this week that really um, just reassures you. I really get this sense of reassurance. And this temperance card, balancing of emotions, you get this reassurance. Um, patience at this time, two of swords. Now, You've been at this indecision when it comes to how to handle some type of situation because you didn't know how to how where you stood with them, Leo. And with this hmm, with this chariot card coming in, I feel like you're something's gonna be presented to you this week. So that's what I would say. It's just like pit, like the actions people take this week to you, Leo, what people say to you this week, um, really believe, I know, like, obviously you should always just, like, take heat, like, what, take signs that like, you experience and take it seriously, right? But I really do feel like this is a week where things are going to be revealed to you, Leo, and it's whatever is revealed to you, whether it's positive or negative, right? Whatever you would perceive as positive or negative, right? Because, like, some person perceiving, like, a you know, like fighting, having like a conflict with somebody as like a negative, where it's like it could actually deepen the connection with you with somebody else, right? Like you just a positive to somebody else. So um, it just feels like the signs this week are just going to be extra powerful in the sense that, um, yeah, I don't know. Just pay extra attention this week, Leo, at the signs. Pay attention to the signs. And I feel like things are just really going to come out come to light. It sounds so ominous, but I really don't mean it in an ominous way. Anyways, Leo, that's the cards that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and how they do. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, right, if you did enjoy this reading and it resonated. Uh, as well, Leo, I do the weekly re zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, darling, uh, share my videos with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them, Leo, as well. Uh, but until next time, Leo, I'll connect with you soon. I love you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Bye.